Hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like the theme of this month is that um, it's a period of major uh, readjustment and major reassessment when it comes overall to your long-term career, to your long-term housing situation, where you're living. Are you content to be there? Do you want to stay there long term? Do you want to buy property? Do you want to move out? As well as relationship sectors as well. Um, what I feel happening here is, um, you know, we are dealing with uh, Saturn transiting your sign, right? So as early as January, things have been a little bit uh, um, hectic in your life. So that means, you know, people are like in your space, uh, things, you've been dealing with a lot of disruption. You've been dealing with disruptions in the work front uh, where you have to readjust your style to mesh with the demands of the work environment. There might have been uh, hard learned lessons as well about, you know, juggling two things such as school and work, such as doing two jobs, such as two relationships and you know personal life private life etc and i feel like you know it was a major wake-up call for many of you are you able to do this successfully uh or are there you know strategies that you need to embody or strategies that you need to kind of like uh develop so that you can successfully juggle these things or you know maintain these disparate areas in your life and making sure that they're flowing and jiving smoothly so coming into the year 2018 and especially in january it was just you know scrambling it was like okay this is not working so i'm not going to do it anymore whereas this is working so i'm going to continue that it's like trial and error and then moving into the month of may when we are in a fellow earth sign when the sun is in uh, taurus and Taurus deals with stability and longevity and so things that are, you know, a little bit more stable and grounded. And this boost of grounding energy is allowing all the areas in your life to kind of fall in place. Okay, so needless to say, the energy for this month is not going to feel so chaotic and frustrating and busy and uh, unmanageable. The energy of this month is in fact very, 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 very smooth. And it is smooth so that you can kind of like take a breather. You don't have to struggle so hard anymore. Responsibilities are not slamming you left and right. People, uh, clients, customers, people that work for you are not calling you, you know, here's a complaint, there's a complaint, help me fix this, help me fix that. I see somebody running around uh, dealing with networks and system, um, the, the, the handyman, the fixer upper. So if you're in those occupations, I feel like, you know, the, the beginning of the year, um, and especially March, um, things were just haywire. And, you know, that, that has a lot to do with the Mercury retrograde cycle. But I feel like things are okay right now. You know, the, the work is not too crazy. And then also financially, you have gone through that period of juggling, readjustment, and figuring out what works and what doesn't so that you can kind of scrap them uh, and, 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 you know, uh, focus on what is actually working in your life. So you've had to do this in order to get where you are right now, which is a place of financial security, financial stability, and a place where you feel really, really comfortable. Okay. So this month, it's very much relationship oriented because news on the financial front looks very good. News on the relationship front, there is further readjustment that needs to happen for you guys. Um, I'm going to finish up to, uh, talking about the, um, the other stuff first before I go into the relationship front. So let's talk about this. This is kind of like freedom and movement, okay? So th this combination, this is like the, the pillars of stability, okay? Home life, happy home, happy, healthy family, healthy relationship, marital bliss, having, um, you know, parents 
and things like that to babysit the kids if needs be having generational wealth as well i see with this card and uh, especially having somebody that you are very compatible with okay so like the traditional structure home where we usually think of it mom dad kids and you know a pet or so and everyone is content and well-fed and happy when it's in the reverse position it's almost like what else is out there there's more to life should I settle for this or should I pursue this so this is kind of like opportunities galore. When it's in the reverse position, it can feel like, oh my gosh, all these opportunities are coming in. And it's kind of debunking, you know, my sense of stability right now. So you have a lot of questions that are coming through for this month. First of all, am I married to the right person? You know, uh, should we move house? Should we go to another country, uh, buy property elsewhere, buy property here? Should we travel? What's going to happen when we travel? Should we put the property up for sale or should we just travel and then rent it out? So I feel like you, there are a lot of things here that are being brought up for re-examination for this month. And then on top of that, we do have the moon as well. And this is usually two separate dwellings, okay? So I, I think of each tower as like a, a, a different home. So many of you might be shifting between different houses. Many of you might be shuttling back and forth. And if you have children as well, you know, custody issues, child support, visitation, all of these things are being brought into the picture where the home environment just feels a little bit crazy and it's a little bit hectic. If you are dating somebody and you're getting very serious, I also see this process as well, running from one household to the next okay like uh you're in your house and then you want to stay over at their house and then you forget your toothbrush you forget your clothes you know things like that the 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 bustle of shifting between two houses and so you're just like okay do we take things to the next level do i you know tell them hey let's move in together on the one hand you love your independence and then on the other hand, it's, it's almost like a practical choice too. You know, we can save so much money. We can um, save time and money. And we can, you know, I'll help you move and everything will be great. But on the other hand, there's trepidation from your end as well. Like, is this the right move? Is it too soon? Can we do it right now? And so I, I still feel like there's a, just a lot of fear coming into the picture. Financially, you're doing really well, and I feel like, you know, that should give you a lot of comfort. But um, relationship-wise, you know, there are a lot of uh, what-ifs here. I also feel, in general, many of you... So now let's talk about the relationship. Many of you are with somebody that you're not 100% compatible with. Great chemistry. Great, great, great chemistry. This is a card here where, you know, there's like the chemistry is very intense. It's very magnetic. And it can also feel like, you know, that love at first sight in the reverse position. All of those things still hold. But in the reverse position, it seems like you're dealing with someone who is quite opinionated okay and it's underneath the moon the moon is all about intuition it's all about like the unspoken words it's in the reverse with the lovers in the reverse you have a partner that is very vocal they're very vocal i want this i don't want that and you have a partner that is incompatible with you you like that but i don't like that you like this but i or you don't like this but i like this and they're very 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 vocal about what they like what they want what their expectations are and so you know capricorns um i feel like you guys are really really accommodating and you're you're never like too extreme you really uh appreciate people's uh, opinions and you know you you're really good at handling different types of people from all different types of uh, all different walks of life and so if you're with a partner who's a little bit too extreme about what they like and what they don't like and too 
extreme about pushing their agenda to be a specific way, I feel like that can be a little bit scary if you're thinking, you know, what are the next steps? Or if you're thinking, if we're going to, you know, build a life together, how are we going to, how are we going to, um, do it without conflict? And then if you're with somebody who might not have the same plans, you know, do we want to get married? Do we want children? It's like these basic fundamental things about marriage, about compatibility, about love and intimacy and, you know, sexual attraction and all of that. And then it's also boils down to career. Are we headed in the right uh, direction? You want to live here. I want to live here, like West Coast, East Coast things as well. And if you want to live here and I want to live here close to my family, where like what's going to happen to the relationship you know eventually so there are a lot of things here that you have to kind of uh re-examine and i feel like for many of you it's not even that extreme it could just be i want to get married right now whereas the other person is all like my career is not established yet i need to wait to get published I need to wait to finish school. You know, people in grad school doing their dissertation, getting grants, getting published, they feel a little bit incomplete. And they're like, can't we, can we wait to have children or can we wait to get married until I'm ready? And then for others, it's like you're with somebody and you're contemplating that next step, you know, move in together. And you might realize that ugh, we might not have very much in common or you want the closeness you want that you want to be able to take care of your partner and you've worked really hard to you know make yourself like this so that you can have wealth and abundance and free time and you know the the luxuries that your income can afford you so that you can give your partner the nice life but your partner it's just like iffy, like, I'm not really sure that's what I want. I'm not really sure if I want to move in and get married. I'm not really sure if marriage is for me. And I'm not really sure if I want children. So I feel like major steps are, are will need to be discussed. And whatever you might have swept under the rug, I feel like they're coming back to kind of um, pick at you this month. So it's really important to have these big discussions, okay? I feel this overall, this is a, a love relationship. It can also be some type of a clandestine relationship. Okay, somebody that is geographically out of the picture, they travel, they come in, and you know, there's just like great intense chemistry but it's, it's only apparent when, because they're there for a very short period of time. And then when they're, they're there for too long, you start to feel like, oh my gosh, we have nothing in common. And then very quickly, they leave the picture. They, they fly back to where they're coming from. And so I feel like many of you are just like, I'm not, I feel empty. I'm not feeling this relationship anymore. I don't want to maintain it anymore. And then for others of you, it's sort of like this. You're debating between your family and you're debating between this clandestine love affair. On the one hand, the family situation feels very restrictive. Like you, you want a way out. You want, you know, to leave. But the financial situation is also keeping you very grounded. And for financial reasons, you might not want to leave because of alimony, because of um, having to divide up assets. So you're not yet ready to leave. But then there's this allure, there's this pull from the other relationship, which is very under the radar. It is very exciting. There's chemistry. And so you're kind of torn between, you know, a rock and a hard place. Um, I'm also feeling as well, for many of you, it seems to me like there's a, a big job, a job offer or something coming in. And... I feel like it requires a big move and you're not yet ready. You're comfortable where you are. Life is calling, but you're comfortable where you are. 
and so you might be turning it down so this is news received and it's like it's not being responded to okay so you you're just like I'm happy here but there's opportunity for growth so this here is very very stable and it's 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 comfortable for you and as a Capricorn as an earth sign I feel like there's a sense of loyalty to the company that you're you're working in or wherever you you're at possibly even a relationship where it's comfortable it's 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 bringing out your sense of loyalty and it can also feel very complacent but I feel like there's also this other aspect of you you know um, that wants to break out that wants to try new things that wants to really entertain this other offer that's on the table so uh, love temptation is also clumped in with this as well as new work that's coming into the picture for you that you really want to entertain that you really want to uh, run with okay and so I guess going back to the um, the main message here seems like you've got a lot on your plate um, I feel like many of you are in a relationship and I feel like your your life is calling it's like opportunities to travel opportunities to work overseas life is calling there seems to me to be like a separation from a love relationship because of work there's a separation from a love relationship because of travel because of movement because of uh, travel from the partner the relationship partner as well and then I'm also seeing you know opportunities coming in that you're not hesitant that you're not ready to take mainly because you're comfortable with where things are right now even though the things are not 100% that solid or that great but you have this immense sense of loyalty to this to stay either it's a relationship or a love sit uh, I'm sorry a work situation or a love relationship or a marriage situation there there's an immense sense of loyalty so I'm gonna stay here yes I'm conflicted and emotionally you know I'm, I'm not feeling at my best but I'm gonna stay because it's safe and I need to be loyal so you've got some difficult decisions coming through I'm not gonna lie here Capricorn and you know do the right thing do the right thing we have this combination coming out okay um, the page of wands and the hermit this is telling you really 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 look at the messages that are coming in for you all is not what it seems okay so for example if you are right now um, if you're you have two jobs and one job is paying really well and then the other job is kind of like um, they're they're telling you we have more freelance work do you want to um, leave your company and and work with us really re-examine what's on the table what's on the offering from this company and really look at really look at the communication that's coming in for example if they send you you know like a, a little uh, a letter to poach you from your current company look at it carefully what kind of language do they use are they clear with their intentions are they being duplicitous and if they're being duplicitous do you want to work with that organization so be very very careful read the 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 the, the letters read everything and be clear that you're getting a straightforward answer from them okay because that pretty much sets the tone for the company that you're going to be dealing with so that should kind of um, allow you to see into the inner workings of the company or the people that you're that are trying to hire you so that you can avoid a potential pitfall um, page of wands as well deals with communication uh, overall and it might not be of the, the the smoothest nature so it could be inflammatory news okay and for some of you inflammatory news coming in from this hermit card from a Virgo and then for others just inflammatory news and uh, this is what I call like the boy who cried wolf okay so if we have a fire sign in your miss Sagittarius Aries Leo or even just uh, somebody who's like time and time again uh, they, they they get overwhelmed and then they are just like help me do this I'm in a jam can you help me and um, 
it, they're not really taking ownership to help themselves. They're waiting for your help and they don't understand that it's actually a big burden on you. You have things going on in your life, right? You've got a lot of things. You've got a lot of things that you need to take care of, even though work might not be as crazy, but you have a lot of other things that are going on in your life and they're just like, they're not very thoughtful and considerate. So this is sort of like looking a little bit more into the situation. Uh, don't enable the situation. If they're coming to you crying wolf or if they're coming to you all the time, it might not be appropriate for you to help them all of the time. And you need to kind of like, you know, steal up a little bit and allow them to creatively solve their own problems. Okay, it's not in the spirit of selfishness. But it is more about uh, not enabling certain behaviors in other people. And I, I know that, you know, you're watching this and you guys are so nice that and it's, it has nothing to do with niceness. It's just you believe that, you know, if it's going to be if there's a problem and someone is going to fix it, you'd rather have you be the person to fix it so that it's done right. And then on top of that, even if it's not somebody you care about, you still want to help. So I feel like this need to, you know, want to make sure things are done right as well. Um, that's coming in, but just be, be careful about, you know, not creating an enabling type of a pattern for this person. Um, let me just pull out a few more cards for this relationship cluster here. Who are we dealing with? Okay. Okay. So I have here, this is basically an offer. Okay. This is somebody like, uh, who, who's, who's really fascinated by, uh, shiny objects who might be a little bit more materialistic. I have here the star. This is the card of Aquarius. So Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, okay? And when it shows up in this combination, it's almost like um, you're really, really attracted to somebody who's very, very uh, beautiful, very inspiring, very um, just um, incredibly intelligent too. And I feel for many of you, it's in a school setting, academic setting, mainly because this is a card of a student and this is a card of trying to master something. Some of you are in the healthcare profession as well because this deals with uh, healing modalities. This is a student studying in order to master something. And there might be attraction in those uh, avenues in your life. There might be, you know, just a lot of intense attraction to another person and you're kind of... Um, debating between the validity of your relationship and you know the new people coming in so i do have another earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn and then i also have aquarius as well um i'm seeing a lot of i'm seeing a lot of signs so water even water signs pisces cancer scorpio but the point of this is i feel like there are a lot of major relationships that you have to re-examine and a lot of it just stems from the fact that, you know, are we on the same boat? We love each other, but do we both want kids? Do we both want to settle down? Do we both want to be in the same city? Do we want to buy a property? You might be with someone who's so independent, very, very independent. They have so much potential, right? Like they have so much potential. They might eventually want to work overseas. Or they're, you know, trying to establish their own business. And it's just, it's it's so, like, career-focused um, that the emotional aspects are not really discussed or, you know, are kind of overlooked, okay? So take the time to really, you know, dive deep and, and, and resolve some of these relationship tensions, okay? Because I feel like it might, it's like the only thing I feel that's interfering in your life right now. And if you can get that resolved, it would just be so much better for you. Let me see if there's anything else. Okay, heavy, heavy fire sign energy. We have here 
the Page of Wands. So once again, this is um, news, inflammatory news coming through from family members. Okay, so for those of you who are, you know, residing in like with, with family members or have like big families with a lot of siblings, a lot of cousins, where you have a lot of get togethers, or you have, you know, like the, the very traditional family unit where there are a lot of family gatherings or family expectations, you know, kind of like we have to take care of our el elderly parents and or we have to um, you know try to meet up with each other every month so I feel as if there are a lot of expectations that might not even be appropriate anymore okay so this is all screaming out family to me family unit social expectations that that cohesion and it's sort of like somebody who's a leader doing the wrong things and no one is really calling him out on it or her out on it mainly because they have this sense of hierarchy and this sense of respect and this sense of uh, deference reference reverence I'm sorry deference and reverence towards the authority figure even if the authority figure um, is not operating from a space of authority so I feel like there are things here that we need to kind of re-examine when we go through this month okay are we um respecting the right things are we valuing the right things as well um i feel for some of you there is a major dilemma here about how you are m w making your money are you doing it in an ethical way or are you you know kind of like um stomping on the backs of others in order to get ahead because um karma doesn't really discriminate and you know whatever was taken from one place you can't really retain it for very long if it doesn't belong to you you're not going to be able to keep it so that is wealth people resources whatever the, the situation is if it's not rightfully yours it's going to sooner or later be returned to its rightful source okay so that's just something we want to keep in mind uh, financially, things are going really well, uh, Capricorn, but I feel like, you know, you have some bigger philosophical issues that are coming through and you need to kind of sort these things out. May is a good month for you to have your bearing and for you to figure out what you want to do, mainly because when we shift into June, it's a time of Gemini. And Gemini is like the, the energy is going to be very, very kinetic. Okay, so you're not going to have a relaxing month like this so it's a good time to kind of sort all of these things out internally okay where do we want to live and things like that okay um, be very careful with your relationship partners make sure that things don't escalate uh, tension and things like that okay just be careful so I wish you all the best and I'll be back um, I'll try to be back for the mid-month reading if I have time but there's no guarantees I hope the reading is helpful though uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.